Hello friends, today I'm going to be talking about five things I wish I knew as a beginner artist. These tips that I'll be sharing today are from my own personal experiences. As I talk through them, you'll be watching me paint this giraffe in acrylic. So as I talk through these tips, feel free to grab a hot beverage or paint along as I talk through my top five tips for beginner artists. Tip number one is improvement takes practice. This is probably a very obvious tip, but it is very important for beginner artists to know as you're never really going to improve your drawing or your art if you don't practice. From my personal experience, I saw a lot of improvement probably from the age of four all the way up to the age of 18 as I had homework at school to do art regularly. I was even doing art in lessons I probably shouldn't have, but subconsciously I was actually practicing and practicing and practicing. After I stopped being obliged to do art after 18, I definitely didn't practice nearly as much as I did before and I barely saw any improvement and that's mainly down to me not doing it as often as I used to. So if you're a beginner artist and you really want to see some improvement, make sure you schedule in some time to practice as it's really important for your artistic growth. Tip number two is don't rely on inspiration alone. As a beginner artist, it's quite easy to get carried away with only doing art when you feel inspired. The problem with inspiration is that you never know when it's going to hit you and it can often help you start pieces, but if things don't go the way you wanted in your art piece or there's the big ugly stage, you can quickly lose it just like that. I found in my personal art journey, once I started to make time for practice, like I mentioned in tip one, and stop relying on inspiration when I felt like it, I definitely saw a lot more improvement in my artwork, and that's something that professional artists are trained to do. They make art and they improve because they make time for it. So as a beginner artist, make sure that you don't wait for when you're inspired and that you make dedicated time towards improving your art. Tip number three is to get fresh eyes on your artwork. This tip is definitely underrated and is definitely not mentioned enough in the art community, but getting fresh eyes on your artwork is really important. What I mean by this is instead of maybe doing your art in one phase and in one session, maybe take a break now and then so that you can approach your art piece with fresh eyes and a fresh perspective. What I mean by this is that it's very easy to get bogged down in an art piece if you do it in one session and you begin to not see things that are out of proportion or things that aren't just going right but if you take a step back for a few hours or a day or so and come back to it, you're more likely to come in with a fresh perspective and see these things a lot easier. From my personal perspective, fresh eyes could mean taking a mini break so that I can start a new session another day. It could also mean taking a picture of my artwork at its current stage or even looking at my artwork in a mirror. Sometimes I even ask a trusted friend to look at my work in progress art piece and give me their honest feedback so that I can use it to point me in the right direction to improve my piece. There are many ways to get fresh eyes on your work but I definitely think it's a really good process to incorporate into your artwork if you really want to improve as a beginner artist. Tip number four is that comparing is your enemy. I think in today's society with the age of the internet and Instagram and artists' websites, it can be very easy to compare yourself to others, especially in terms of your artwork. 
It's so easy to look at artists who look like their work is super amazing and get bogged down and wonder why should I even bother to do art if there's people like this in the world. But no matter how amazing the artist is, they probably look at other artists too and think they're also as amazing or even more amazing than them. But the main thing is we shouldn't look at art as a competition or who's better than the other as every single person has their own artistic voice and something to share with the world. I'd also like to think that the artists that you look up to would dread to think that their art would discourage you from producing your own art. If anything, we should be using each other's work as inspiration and to build each other up as everyone in the art community has a voice to share and we're all on our own art journey. Tip number five is to stay true to your vision. As a beginner artist, it's very easy to be swayed by whatever your friends and family want you to paint whether it be landscapes or portraits or animal portraits like I did myself. I did enjoy that I made those people happy, especially as they meant something to them. But from a personal art journey perspective, I forgot to make time for my own art and for my own style. So last year I made the decision to focus on animal portraits and really build up my personal portfolio so I could see growth in my own art journey. I have to say it's probably one of the best decisions I've made as I can truly look back at my portfolio and be happy with the work that I've produced. So the main takeaway from this for young artists is not to be swayed by whatever topic you think people want you to make but to make time for making art that you really want to make and what you're really passionate about. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to make art that you enjoy and that you'll be happy to look back on over the years. So that's all five tips that I'd share with beginner artists or even my younger self. I hope these tips will help to inspire you along on your art journey and if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know as I'd love to hear from you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, if you're an artist or aspiring artist, be sure to let me know down in the comments what your top tips are for beginner artists as I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you'd like to hear more from me and my painting processes and tips, be sure to check out this animal playlist right here.